The overall aim of this procedure is to orally administer materials to the intestinal lumen of zebrafish larvae. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, such as immersion into water containing the material of interest, is that the amount of material delivered into the animal, as well as the timing and dosage, can be rigorously controlled. This decreases experimental variability and in some cases toxicity associated with certain materials. To begin, pull several gavage needles using a micropipette puller and borosilicate glass capillaries. After filling with mineral oil, mount the gavage needle onto the NanoJet 2 microinjection unit. The next step is to manually backfill the gavage needle. Take care not to introduce air bubbles into the mineral oil. Use a blunt dissection probe to gently press each larva into the methyl cellulose, stabilizing their position. Next, adjust the NanoJEC2 microinjection rig so that the needle is tilted at a shallow angle. Make sure that the extension range will be sufficient to reach past the bottom of the well to minimize the need for future adjustments. Set the microinjection unit to release 4.6 nanoliters using the slow inject setting. Position one hand to make minor adjustments of the plate containing the immobilized larvae and the other to control the micromanipulator of the microinjection unit. First, gently maneuver the gavage needle into the mouth of an anesthetized fish. Pass through the esophagus and slightly depress the esophageal sphincter to introduce the tip just inside the anterior intestinal bulb. Once inside the anterior bulb, gently administer the material. After removing the gavage needle, transfer the fish to a dish containing fresh media. Transfer the larvae to a petri dish or six well plate until needed for subsequent analysis. While attempting this procedure, make sure that the needle does not have jagged edges, that the fish are well positioned and secure in the methyl cellulose, and be careful and patient while learning to maneuver the needle through the larvae's esophagus. This technique can be utilized in a wide range of applications in the zebrafish that require controlled introduction or visualization of materials within the intestine. It allows for rigorous control over timing, route, and dosage of delivery into the animal and greatly reduces variation within an experiment and between experiments.